Uh, well, choice, from choice to no choice, um, this fuel crisis um, situation and the squeeze on energy bills, um, we're, we're hearing now, and this is something we're going to be talking about later in the programme, uh, the charity, the Joseph Rowntree Foundation, uh, really worried about the effect that uh, energy price increases are going to have on the poorest adults in the country, uh, and they're talking about fuel bills doubling. Well, it may be even more. I mean, I would put, if I were you, if I may say so, put to the Joseph Browntree Foundation the latest news from the Ukraine border, which is going to put energy prices, I think, even higher, quite honestly. So what the government is doing in, in its sort of tr trying to r retain its, its sort of authority, if you like, is to help the energy business. And what, what's being proposed at the moment is the fact that the, the, the government will lend money on cheaper loans to energy companies to try to assuage some of these rises. But but the, the downside, downside of the energy companies is that they will have to pay it back when prices actually come down. But we are looking at enormous spikes in, in, in energy costs. And, and what the Joseph Rowntree um, Foundation is actually saying is quite right, isn't it? That, that lower income families pay a much larger proportion, up to 40 to 50 percent of their income on energy costs just to keep warm. And, and it's even worse if you are a single person living on your own just with the one income and, and, and you're, you're not up to that uh, level of, of average income as far as the UK is concerned, you're paying a, a big chunk of your disposable income on, on just trying to keep warm. And we've had this ludicrous thing, haven't we, from energy companies saying, you know, eat orange, do have hulu contests, um, hug, hug a pet and all this kind of stuff. I mean, probably all, you know, the kind of thing that your grandmother would have said to you. And it, But, you know, in, in the context of these bigger bigger concerns. Energy companies should not be stooping to these kind of levels. They should be engaging in grown-up, proper discussions with government and vice versa about how to get over this spike.